Quick update on my 286 build. I have added some breadboard rails, as you can see to the right of these breadboards, basically just distributing power across those breadboards. So I've got power coming in my clock card up in the upper left still through a barrel connector. I'm then going out through that uh, green quick connect connector, uh, whatever that style of connector is called, uh, into my breadboard through uh, 10 pins as it's actually connected to. But then from there, I'm spreading out through the rest of the breadboards through those green PCB rail boards that I put in. So I got to pull out all of that messy uh, power wiring uh, down the center of the board and use this instead. Uh, you'll also see that I updated the wiring going over to the LCD, just got rid of those temporary wires I had before and put these in instead. And then I also added a transceiver. And with that transceiver, I am now supporting reading from the LCD so I can read the busy flag. And so I have gone in and updated uh, both the schematic, which you can see here, and down to the lower right is just this uh, 74 to 45 that I'm using. And basically just being able to pull back from the LCD and put it back onto the data bus uh, when the appropriate OE flag is set uh, for IO02. Uh, and with that, then I had to update my decode logic. And here you can see I, I changed that diagram around a bit. Um, all the wires actually connecting everything was getting a little messy. So I laid this out a little bit differently. To the left, I have all my inputs coming into uh, that PSOC. I have an inverted version of all of the signals basically then that I run through an inverter. And then going into each of my different types of output I want to the right, I've got the, the NAND gate with the appropriate uh, input signals. And for me, this is really clean to look at and easy to manage and, and doesn't take up a lot of space. Uh, anywhere you see something ending in a B, like net A, 19B, B is just short for bar or uh, pound, you might see it, uh, hash symbol on some of uh, different diagrams that people use. Uh, as far as the circuit's concerned, I am running that at, um, well, a couple of things. I'm running the clock card. I'm using an 8.192 megahertz oscillator that I'm running out of that. That then goes uh, through a flip-flop on that card. So coming out of that card really is half that speed. So I'm running about 4 megahertz going into the processor. And then the processor internally is using half of that speed for the processor clock. So I would say I would call this a 2 megahertz uh, processor clock. And that's the speed the processor is running at uh, for the moment. Seems like if I go higher, I start to have more challenges with the LCD. I don't think I'm having challenges with the rest of the system higher than that, but, but trying to get the LCD, LCD to work properly above that. It's been a little little temperamental when I try to go faster. Not sure the bottleneck is there if it's really the LCD or or something with my latching or ROM or RAM or something else. As far as the assembly code that I'm running for this video, you can see that on the screen. You know, I have tried to clean up the code a little bit. Um, I still need to to come up with a better way of writing a string out. You'll actually see that further down. I'm still individually calling a print char procedure to print out each of those. What I want to do instead is just basically uh, index and run through a string like this and for each item in the string print out or call that procedure. And so I've been reading up on how to do that uh, in x86 compared to what I'm used to doing in the uh, 65, um, 816. Uh, you also see that as I get into here, I am calling a delay procedure. So I've got some initial code that initializes the LCD, and I found at higher speed I still had to put a delay in right here, otherwise that LCD uh, wasn't real happy. And then I've got a procedure to, to basically uh, print the message that uh, shows up on that screen, that uh, hello 286, uh, 2 megahertz message. Interestingly, one of the commands that I expect to work to send uh, the cursor to the next line does work, but then after that I can't send any more print chars. So I've got to figure out what's going on there, if it's something with the LCD or something in the rest of my circuit that could be causing a problem on that one. But what I did add that was probably more significant here is this LCD weight procedure, and that's basically reading from the LCD, or what I've now labeled port B, which is 
if I go up top, port B is uh, my 0, x02. And then the what I call port A is 0x04. Uh, just kind of going back to my old uh, 6502 uh, via port A, port B nomenclature like uh, Ben Eater might use in his videos. So you can see I still got those commentary, uh, those notes off to the right. But anyways, in the LCD busy, I am going out and reading from that port and basically checking is this uh, first bit set because that tells me uh, that if it is set, then I've I've got a, an LCD that's busy and I can't really send it an instruction. I need to basically jump up and just keep running through this over and over until it is no longer busy. And then I still have my LCD instruction where I now call that LCD weight and I have a print char where I call that LCD weight. And then I have a quick little uh, delay procedure that just lets me set these uh, to have different types of delays. And this is all the delay I needed for that that location up above. So that's what the uh, assembly code looks like at the moment. So that is the uh, current state of the system.